I see a gift for, for Eve over there. Ooh. Did you see? Uh-huh. Santa came for you. <laughs> okay, so I know this looks really bad, but I'm wrapping Sarah's gift in tin foil because I ran out of time. I was up till one in the morning last night cleaning Sarah's mom's garage out and fixing their heater as a little Christmas gift to them because it's cold in Chicago and they should be parking their car in the garage. Tin foil. Sarah's gift. They're upstairs waiting. It's time for Christmas. We got a Christmas breakfast. A Christmas Peter. We got on our Christmas robes. Christmas Sarah, uh, Christina. <laughs> Christmas Sarah or Christina. He's not sure who his wife is in that. Mom, they're Christmas paper plates. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Do, Do you, you like our matching robes? Yes, Christina and Grandpa got us them. But Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones and your friends and family and everybody. We wish you the merriest of holidays and everything well wishes, even if you don't celebrate Christmas. But today was Christmas for us. Mm -hmm. And we got some things, and we want to show you what we got. First of all, Eve, I guess, wants to play with that ball. Eve got this in her stocking. So she's been loving this, playing with this all morning. Eve. Good girl. We love that. So, it's a little cray cray behind us, but that's okay. We're on vacation. We want to show you some of the stuff that we opened up today. We realized that we didn't show you a lot of what we got yesterday from like my parents and siblings, but we'll show Our you that. Our video yesterday is three minutes long. Our video from yesterday is still uploading right now. It's three minutes long. So we're we just enjoying, we're enjoying the day. So we'll get to that with some really nice stuff. Um, actually, the pajama pants and the shirt I'm wearing are from oh, my yeah, parents. Me too. Same with Sarah. Love she got it. It's embroidered with, with my her name. name. And then we'll show you what my sister got us. Um, yeah. Either before, probably closer to before I leave. I left it in the car to be safe because it's a nice vinyl painting. There's uh, the state of Illinois, the state of Florida with a little line between them and a little poem about family always being close. But we want to show you because I have it right here what we got today. We got some a Spode teapot because we love Spode. It matches the one in the UK pavilion. It does. This cup and oh, this <laughs> this cup and tin set. This is what's for Eve, and it's a little. Ooh, make sure she doesn't get to that. This is for Eve. Santa brought this for Eve, and it's a tennis ball launcher. You step on it and shoots a tennis ball. It came with a really big one, so we'll have to use her little guy. Yeah. Then this is the crumb de la crumb. It's a uh, it's a wonderful life. So this is gonna go what like in the the kitchen maybe? Either in the kitchen or the living room. Kitchen or living room. So this is amazing. Santa brought this, and our stocking. The best part of our stocking stuffer is a Terry's chocolate orange. I love these because you smack them, and then you open them up. It's not that easy of a smack. It's a <laughs> whack and unwrap, but it usually takes a good firm hit. I used to have to throw it against the ground, but you open it. Okay. And it looks like an orange. And then you can take the slices out after you whack it. And they look like an orange. Look at that. So this was another part from my from my parents. Awesome, can't wait to we're probably gonna wear this right when we get back. Look at this! Because Disney will still be like in um Christmas, Christmas mode, mode for like another maybe like half a week or a week. But these are Mickey Mini Christmas sweaters, mine and Sarah's. So cute. Super cute. This was actually a birthday present, a belated birthday present for my, my family. Ticket to Ride board game. We love it. Um, Sarah's cousin Matt always has it, but we never... We all have our own. We have our own. Um, these are stocking stuffers from my parents. Nine and three quarters magnet and the Harry Potter house buttons. So I'm gonna I wear... I also got buttons. I'm, that gonna, were... I'm gonna represent my Hufflepuffs with pride. Sarah got me these 28 and Main coasters. Super cute. They're all different attractions. Or areas like Casey's Corner. We got this oven mitt that's spode. Yes. 
super cute. Sarah also got me this little shrunken Neds from like I Trader a Sam's. She had a gift. theme for my for my little Christmas gift. Because remember we said we said we were only gonna spend twenty bucks because these are of, whiskey stones. These are whiskey stones which I've never had, which are basically just like they're like artificial ice cubes that you can put in any kind of water, pop, mixed drink, whiskey. Yeah. They don't melt, so they don't dilute your drink. And then this little voucher here is for a night out at this this little bar um, in Chicago at the Drake Hotel. So we'll we come, probably do that when we come back without the doggy. Yeah. But that was actually Walt Disney's favorite place to go in Chicago. His name is engraved in the bar there. So his mom got us these sweet kitchen towels, oh, or white yeah. with a B in there for Brookhart. This cute apron, Christmas themed. Mm -hmm. Super adorable. A candle. A Christmas candle. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also got Christmas movies from your mom, too. Yes, we got the Muppet Christmas Carol from Sarah's mom. As well as Cary Grant and Betsy Drake, Room for One More. Sarah's mom and me have a thing where like she introduces me to old time movies like this, so I actually haven't seen this one, but she says I'm gonna love it. It's from the Warner Brothers amazing. Archive Collection. And then we also got Medea's Christmas. Christmas and Home for the Holidays. Home for the Holidays from my parents. And we got, this all came in this cute weaved basket. Yes, oh, and I'll the last thing. Sarah loves this, this is what my mom got. Oh no, we have one more thing to show because Sarah's oh. embarrassed to show it. Did we show, okay, so this is markers and an adult coloring book, which I always have wanted to buy this and I brought one for myself. So I already started coloring in it. Um, then Peter got me the Art of Minnie Mouse book, which I think is so I upstairs. showed. Um, I showed right before we unwrapped it because they, they saw me. <laughs> they saw me wrap it, yeah. Okay. Um, but, but the last thing is a little, little fun thing to poke at Sarah. Sarah's actually allergic to many things like caterpillars, I lots just have of soaps. really sensitive skin, like I can't use Bath and Body. Um, so basically what Peter's going to tell you, I'm allergic to chapstick, but I was like that kid with like the ring around my mouth because I was so chapped all the time. So every Christmas, Peter's mom gets me like bulk Vaseline. Bulk tubes of Vaseline because it's just always been like my mom's thing to get Sarah. Yeah. So and knows, it's like this will last. Oh, it's almost it's almost been to the tea where this will last until like November or December. Yeah. So it's I also perfect. have to use it to take off my makeup because I'm allergic to most makeup removers too. Um, so it's a really nice stocking stuffer. So that's uh, we have a couple more things, but they're yeah, kind of all over the good. place. Uh, you'll see them. You'll see them as we go. I can't wait to show you what my sister uh, painted for us. It's gonna go get hung up when we hang up. The it's a wonderful life. Mhm. Mm I think we're gonna watch Dunkirk. And Jenna later. got us the Spode. Oh, I didn't show that. We'll show you later. Yeah. But I got the um, Lillian and Co. Oh, I can go the distance. Yeah, uh, I knew about this. I helped Jenna pick out what oh, no, metal. This is my great big beautiful tomorrow. Oh. So we'll we have show you later. The, I go the distance. Now we have Spode. And then they um, got. They also got us the Cafe Du Mont coffee from mm -hmm. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. it was super good. And really nice strong. Chicago coffee. And really Chicago cup. Okay, Eve. This is your Christmas treat. This is your Christmas treat. Is it okay she eats it? Yeah, that's what Starbucks gives. This is three parts grenadine. I know. This is what you call a Christmas spritzer. Mostly pomegranate bow. Bye. Just enough, just enough ginger ale to give it a spritz. Bada bing. With the cranberry bowl. kick? No, pomegranate. Pomegranate kick. Whoa! <laughs> you guys have the exact same voice just now. They do, that, they do that all the time. I know. It's creepy. We're outside. In the we, we didn't explain a lot last night when I said I have a secret mission. I cut that out. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. But he had, did have a secret mission. This was my secret mission. And it was to, to organize this here garage a little bit. So the cars could fit in there. What's the use of a garage in snow? Yeah, what's the use of a heated garage? Because here's a heater. Yeah, I see it blowing my hair. It's keeping us warm right now because it's 14 so degrees out. But I've also been wearing the same outfit for 24 hours. <laughs> it's a relaxing Christmas. Uh -huh. So this was my little mission last night was I was in here. Don't be eating nothing little Yeah, because there's paint stuff over there. I was out here until... Like almost one. Almost one, just organizing it and making sure cars come there because, like Sarah said, what's the point in uh, having a Grandma Cookie living here and a Sue who's always running around and a Christina who's eight months pregnant with a two-car garage that's heated to not have to clean off or heat up a car? 
Don't if you're not going to use it. So I surprised Sue with organizing it and getting the two of the cars in here like we used to have it. And I hung this sign that Sarah's dad got for his dad back in the day that we've had, that Sarah's had, parents had for years, right? Yeah. And never hung it up, but considering this is going to be a grandpa's garage soon, I took it upon myself and I hung that up. Wonderful. Eve gets a little bit of freedom in here. Yeah, we, we wanted to take Eve out to let her stretch her legs a little bit more. decided to get comfy and lay down right as we're about to make a more of like a hangout area but the night is winding down we went to Dunkirk tonight it was a great movie <laughs> not as long as I thought it was gonna be but really good movie I've wanted to see it for since I saw a trailer for it not that I was like let down but it was like went by really fast like there wasn't really I think we expected more of it he was trying to get comfy oh Oh, she just curled up like a little cue ball on a blanket. She's the most cute thing ever. <laughs> Excuse our mess. But everyone else went to bed since it's been a long day. But we're going to finish the night watching Harry Potter because that's like almost feels just as Christmas to us as every old Christmas <laughs> movie because we typically usually binge watch like all the Harry Potter movies around the holiday season. Yeah. I think we're going to do that when we get home. Actually. I think we will too. Um, and you guys know, like, we've, we're very much Harry Potter enthusiasts, and we got some Harry Potter stuff this Christmas, um, but Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite book. I don't know if it's my favorite movie or not, but we're just in the mood. So tell us down below what your favorite Harry Potter book is and which favorite Harry Potter movie is. Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite book. My favorite movie is probably... Order? I like Order. Order the Phoenix. I like Bellatrix. Yeah. Um, the thing is, Order movie and book are not super like in line with each other. Yeah. Like they obviously like the main idea there, but there's a lot of differences between the two. Also, if you like Harry Potter, go listen to our friends' podcast, Swish and Flick. Yeah, it's Megan, Megan and Katie, and, Katie um, and their friends Tiffany and Sarah, but they are. An awesome podcast if you're in Harry Potter. And like we've given that, Go we give that. them full credit for the podcast Dom and I are going to start. And I think we might have them on in the first couple episodes. Sorry, Eve is being adorable. It's breaking my heart because it's so cute. But with that, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And We're yours. sorry we didn't say it's good to be home yesterday. Yes, but okay. it's good to but be home. You guys home. know it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>